Courtney here. So I've done a bit of a mashup between a skeleton and Harley Quinn. I still wanted to keep that pop art vibe, so the real vibrant colours, plus some animated like drips. I did have a few doubts to begin with, but yeah, pleasantly surprised. It's probably one of my favourite looks so far. Um, the illusion with the collar, that was quite difficult to master. Stuffed up a few times, but I'm happy with it now. I'm just gonna leave it be. And yeah, if you want to see how I achieved this Harley Quinn skeleton look, then please keep on watching. To start off, I painted my left side blue. So I mixed together the blue cream paint from Ben Nye and also the Marin cream blend stick in white to make this light blue. And I'm just using my beauty blender and applying this all over the left side of my face, including my ear. I then go in and draw in the skeleton design with a white jumbo pencil and also the jacket that she's wearing. I painted only the left side of the bones with the blue cream paint also and then I switched over to a red and white cream paint which I mixed into this awesome pink. I applied this to the opposite side of the beauty blender and I ensured that I mixed the two colours just slightly in the middle to get that nice purple hue. And then to set all this, I just used baby powder on a light fluffy brush and pressed that into the cream. I applied a blue jumbo pencil into my left waterline and then into my right waterline, I added a pink lip pencil. I don't know if this is very safe for the eye, it didn't kill me, but I probably recommend just use an eye pencil, guys. To paint in the scales and eye sockets, I just used a black water activated body paint by Wolf and then I used the corrupt black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek just to blend that out and create an ombre effect. I also took Neptune from Makeup Geek and just blended that into the blue side and then I used Crimson from NYX which is a red blush and I helped to blend that black through to the middle of the eye as well. I painted in some little drips with some blue and red body paint and then I decided to add an extra bit of water to the colour to make it run so it looked like a colour run that would happen on a comic page. In my skeleton teeth, I just took a white aqua colour from Cryolan and made sure that the paint was nice and opaque. I had to do a couple of layers for this. And then once that had dried, I continued the corners of my mouth outwards and then finished painting in the rest of my skeleton features like the jaw. I also filled in the negative spaces with the black body paint and then I helped to fade that in with the black makeup geek eyeshadow corrupt I also used the same shadows what I did on the eyes just to help blend those deep areas in and give a little bit more color each of the teeth with the red and blue body paint on a very thin brush and I just took that over the arch of the tooth. This just helped make that white pop and to give it a little bit more dimension. detailing to the skull like just some lines, some cracks through the forehead with the red and blue potty paint on each side. And I 
outline the splashes under my eyes just to make them a little bit more 2D and comic-y looking. I also gave myself a winged liner and then I faded that out with a little bit of black eyeshadow. And to finish off and to give it a lot of dimension, I just highlighted with the Merin Cream Blend Stick in white just along all the top edges of the shadows. And here I am just adding a little bit further detailing, some dots and some discrepancies in the bone. I'm doing the exact same thing with the body bones, um, just adding shadows with the eyeshadows that I used on the face and then I further define them with black body paint and black shading. I also painted in the collar using black, white and red body paint and then to fill in the arms of the jacket suit I'm just taking a blue watercolour from Wolf and then I use the red cream paint from Merin for the opposite side. I then had to set this with a heap of baby powder I didn't want it rubbing under my arms and getting all messy and shit. I highlighted the upper side of the jacket to make it look like it was a little bit more 3D. And then I just to do a simple zipper, I just drew little lines coming inwards to the jacket. And I thought this looked pretty cool. And to finish off, I have used this Harley wig many times before. It was a cheap $5 wig from the Reject store and I added body paint into the ends of it. I forgot my little rotten tattoo, so I applied that with black body paint and put hearts on both sides of my face. And last of all, I just popped some blue contacts in and yeah, that's the finished look. All up, this took me about six hours. Um, well worth it because yeah, like I was saying before, it is probably my favorite look that I've done so far. And I will never get enough of Harley Quinn so I might do different variations of her and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you try and recreate it, please tag me. I would love to see it. And guys, give me a thumbs up for this video. Let me know your thoughts. You can be brutally honest. I don't care. Um, and subscribe. Okay, see you guys.